In an interview on France 2 television, French President Emmanuel Macron said that radar and anti-air missiles would be delivered in the coming weeks to protect Ukraine from drone and missile attacks. He added, this is a new phase of bombing coming from land, sea, air and drones against essential infrastructure and civilians, referring to recent attacks launched by Russia. The president didn't specify the type or quantity. According to information published by the news channel France 24, France could deliver Crotel, a short-range air defense missile system that's in service with the French army. Reuters also indicated that the system will be Crotel. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes how useful the French Crotel air defense system will be for Ukraine. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. Get an exclusive NordVPN deal by going to nordvpn.com slash defense or clicking the link in the description. Use the code DEFENSE at the checkout to get an extra month free for the two-year plan. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. The Crotel, which in English means rattlesnake, is a French all-weather, short-range, surface-to-air missile system developed to intercept airborne ranged weapons and aircraft, from cruise or anti-ship missiles to helicopters, UAVs or low-flying, high-performance fighter aircraft. It was developed by Thompson CSF Matra, now Thales Group, and consists of a mobile land-based variant as well as various naval ones. Originally, the Crotel R440 system was developed by Rockwell International and Thompson Houston and Mistral in France for South Africa, where it was named Cactus. However, the achievements of the system impressed the French armed forces, who purchased the system both for the Air Force and for the Navy. Apart from its deployment as ground-based air defense, the Crotel system has also been installed on various military ships. For instance, the French Navy Lafayette-class frigates have a Crotel 8-tube launcher near the helicopter flight deck. Crotel's several variants include Crotel NG, which has a greater strike envelope. The Crotel missile system essentially consists of two components a vehicle for transport equipped with two to eight launchers, a tracking radar located between the launchers. A second vehicle carries the surveillance radar. The radar surveillance vehicle can be connected to several launcher vehicles in order to achieve an effective air defense system. The Crotel NG has incorporated both the launcher and the surveillance radar in one vehicle. The missile is propelled by a solid propellant rocket motor and can accelerate to a maximum speed of Mach 2.3 in two seconds. The missile is sent guidance commands by the base unit, keeping it on the line of sight until its infrared proximity fuse senses that it's near its target and explodes. The surveillance radar and fire detection radar have a range of 20 kilometers or 12 and a half miles, and the TV link works up to 15 kilometers or around nine miles. The TV guidance system uses both regular and infrared cameras. The system can follow eight targets simultaneously, and the guidance radar can follow both hovering helicopters as well as fighters exceeding Mach 2. The Crotel can also use surveillance data from other systems, data from optical surveillance, and the general aerial picture from the National Air Defense Communication System. Any system that Ukraine can get from the West will be useful. In particular, Crotel is a perfect fit, as per the situation on the battlefield. It's capable of knocking out low-flying missiles, as well as manned and unmanned aircraft, which have been used by Russia to attack Ukrainian cities in a renewed offensive since October 10th. France has faced criticism for its less-than-expected military aid to Ukraine compared to other Western countries which has been highlighted by Ukrainian officials many times. Explaining the relatively fewer French deliveries, which include Mistral anti-aircraft system and 18 Caesar mounted howitzers, Macron said that the country needed the military hardware itself to protect our eastern flank. It remains to be seen how many of these systems are provided by France to Ukraine. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and 
kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.